I'm going to do a quick video on how to use a picture image as a swatch. I'll Google plaid, plaid swatch, and then I'll click images, and then I'll go to tools. I'll choose size large, a large resolution image, and then I'll just pick this one, and then I'll open image in new tab. And then I'll just drag the I'll drag the swatch to my desktop and then I'll open Illustrator and then I'll drag the swatch into Illustrator, Adobe Illustrator. The most important thing you have to do is embed this swatch because when you save this file, you will still want to have this in the file because if you don't and you don't save it and then you open up Illustrator, this file again, this image will be blank, it'll be empty. So we have to embed the file. So if you go up here and it says embed, so we'll click that. So now the image is embedded and then you have to look for your swatch libraries. You can go to window, swatches. So here's your swatches panel. So you can just drag this image into the palette and the swatch palette. If we wanted to replace the green, the color green with the swatch, you would go to hit the A key, which is the white arrow tool, or you can just go in the toolbar and click the direct selection tool. Instead of clicking each individual parts of the green, like the sleeves, the, the body, you can just click one section, like I'll just click on the back, and then we'll click on select, same, and then fill color and now we can just click on the swatch the pattern the plaid so now that's selected so it might look too big and we can zoom in by hitting command plus you have to zoom out command minus so it looks if you want to adjust it if it looks too big and make it smaller you can go to object transform and then scale then make sure the only thing that's checked off is the preview button and the and the transform patterns. So now you can make it change it to 80% and I'm gonna go smaller or you can go to like 40% if you want it small like that. And we'll just use that at 40% scale. So then we'll just click OK and then now you're done. So that's pretty much how you can, you can use a picture of a fabric swatch for your, for your fashion flats.